and thanks to everybody for coming here tonight. Today has been a very, very deadly day in Palestine. We woke up told that there was going to be a ceasefire. What a lie that turned out to be. A hundred people dead today alone. Fifteen hundred people dead in the last three weeks. And 120,000 people told that they have to leave their homes in Rafa by the Israelis. This is the most hideous crime against the people of Palestine and against the people of Gaza. And we are here to say that we will not let the Israelis continue to do it. And we will be here until this terrible crime stops. But we also have to answer. <coughs> we also have to answer. Why does Israel get away with this crime? Why is it allowed to do so? It's allowed to do so because the United States makes a few minor criticisms but signs the checks for three billion dollars every year. They send them the arms that are killing the people of Gaza. They refuse to allow them to be taken to account for their war crimes as they should be. What they are doing, they are targeting deliberately civilians. They're targeting people's electricity. They're targeting their schools. They're targeting their homes. And everyone who believes in justice has to be against that. And we should say to the British government and the American government, we are absolutely sick of a foreign policy which has brought us war for 13 years, which has brought us misery in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Libya. And we are determined to change this policy. That is what we are here to say today. And the people of Palestine are the victims of this war on terror as much as all the other countries. If we were serious about Israel, we would break all links with Israel. <coughs> we wouldn't have we wouldn't have an embassy here. We would say the embassy is going to be closed down. It should be closed down while these war criminals are doing this. And the poor, the poor Palestinians, what do they have? They're suffering death, they're suffering injury, they're suffering a terrible siege. No governments in the Western world support them, but the people on the streets support them. And that is why we are here to say we are here in solidarity. And next week we have called a national demonstration. We want you to go away, go to back to your friends, back to your family, back to your community, back to your workplace, anywhere you can talk to people, get them onto the streets next weekend. We want hundreds of thousands of people on the streets next weekend to say to David Cameron, stop backing the war criminals, stop arming the war criminals, stop allowing Israel to keep saying they're only defending themselves. How can we keep saying this when they are bombing every night? and virtually no Israelis have been killed, whereas 1,500 Palestinians have been killed. We are here to say to our government, to the BBC, to the media, to everybody else, we are with the Palestinians and we are determined that they will win. Thank you very much.